So this is where I sleep. This is where Jazz Calibri calls home. She's just one of more than 200 people living in the Wood Street encampment, now trying to figure out where to relocate after a federal judge sided with the Department of Transportation agreeing that unhoused have no right to be on the property. And it's, it's all organized intentionally backward. Evict first and get services later. And the three-phase relocation plan starts the week of Labor Day with evictions closest to the wastewater treatment plant near where multiple fires in the encampment have sparked the most concern. From there, every two weeks, a portion of residents will be offered services and shelter options, if available, until the area is cleared. The problem is the city admits right now they only have room for 40 people and most of that is temporary shelter. Those temporary solutions don't work um, because, you know, residents are removed from their community. People who have disabilities cannot access those facilities. That is a slap in the face. They, they didn't do anything that the judge asked them to do as of really working together, uh, collaborating together and finding suitable solutions and housing for the people out here. They just said, basically, if you don't like this, then you're out. Officials claim with over 200 fires started and 12 just this past month, eviction is necessary necessary and addresses the potential for catastrophic hazards at the encampment. But residents say they aren't responsible for a majority of the flames. The ruling today only evicts residents on Caltrans land, but the encampment actually stretches onto city property as well. Oakland claims they've cleaned up their portion and are planning to build a community site. But today we saw people still living on the property, leaving questions about what happens next. This is a healing place. It, it's not just a, an encampment of uh, drug addicts and psychopaths. It's a place where people come because they feel safe and secure. As the move out date approaches, unhoused residents plan to keep their community together. And we're going to have to rebuild somewhere else like, and to keep our community alive. In Oakland, Felina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.